in this episode, we only have 8 hours for us to get ourselves upgraded into full netherite gears. As you can see from my bodies, I'm currently wearing diamond armor, and I've been wearing diamond armor since episode 2. And it's time for me to retire diamond armor and actually start equipping some netherite. But to do that, we need to get ourselves netherite ingot. Not only that, in 1.20, they added a new progression to the upgrade from diamond to netherite, and that is the upgrade template. We need to get ourselves the hands of the upgrade template, and currently, I do not hold the hands of the template. And to get it, we need to go ourselves into the pastures and acquire one myself. Now what might ask, why do I only have 8 hours to work on this episode? Well because I'm actually hitting my deadline, I'm supposed to upload this on Tuesday and this is currently Sunday and Monday I'm gonna be pretty busy so yeah I only have 8 hours to work on this and I also need to have more hours to edit this video done for you guys. So yeah, there you go, I only have 8 hours so let's get to work. But before we continue, if any of you guys are new to this channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you really enjoy the content that I make, then make sure to click the notification bell and see more of my videos. Now, let's get move on to the video. Now before we embark on the bastions, we need to get ourselves the hands of the ancient debris. If we look at the inventory, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, items over here in my inventories and let's not forget some of the other tools that I have over here in my toolbox. And to measure it out, one netherite ingot requires 4 ancient debris and 4 gold ingot. And let's say if we need 10 netherite ingot, we would need 40 ancient debris in order to make 10 netherite ingot altogether. And thankfully, we won't do it the hard way using the bear or to mine it because we got ourselves some sands over here and if we head over here to the citadel this is my creeper farm and if we head down here we should have a huge amount of gunpowder supplies over here let's turn that all into TNT alright 6 stack of TNT there should be plenty enough for us to get a whole bunch of ancient debris though. So let's head into the nether and try to do a quick time lapse of us mining a lot a lot a lot of ancient debris. So I went underneath the nether ceiling and found a dig hole that I used to make back then and I blast the tunnel there here to find some ancient debris. And here we go, our first ever ancient debris though. I actually went through over half a step before I found my first debris and I wanna say it was pretty concerning. I was getting worried that we might not be able to find as many as I thought but then after a while, I gradually found more and more debris as I dig more tunnel. Alright guys, I've been doing a little bit of ancient debris mining and as we all know, we got 6 that originally started out and now uh, the only remaining TNT stacks I have is 2 and 55 and the total amount I've got so far is 19 ancient debris and remember our goal is to get 40 ancient debris and with this amount of red I am starting to think I'm starting to feel a little bit concerned that we might not able to reach the quota over here we might even have to restart to getting more TNT, either that or we do some mining, but we're just gonna lay out this TNT and just see what's the end result that we get from all of this. And just as I said, over 4 stacks of TNT and yet I only found 19 debris, which is pretty concerning. But thankfully for the last remaining stacks, I managed to find a whole bunch on some decent chunk. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, with that only 49 TNT left, I got myself the 10 netherite ingot aka 40 ancient debris. We made the quarter, yeah we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh you know what, we only 49 TNT left, let's just might as well finish this off and try to see if we can squeeze a little bit extra out from this. Speaking of quarter, I can't realize there's 
very trendy games out there right now. There's literally almost everyone that I watch slash friends I'm playing right now. And that's Little Company. Don't get me wrong. I have seen the games and it seems pretty fun. But ironically, everyone else on my YouTube to recommend the channels, friends, and including my own boyfriend has played the games except for me, which I find very funny. <laughs> ah, I'm a boomer. Alright, I'm back home and I got myself a total of 58 ancient debris and I'm gonna separate into three sections because I'm gonna put them each individually into this method right over here. Now do understand that this is yet not the end of this because we still need to get ourselves 10 plates in order to upgrade all of our tools and armors and to do that as i said we need to go to the bastions all right gentlemen i have found myself a bastion every year i can guarantee you this is from 1.20 because you can see the lava just started flowing down as i loaded it into this channel so this is 100 percent Hopefully guarantee we'll have a template, we will see about that because it is basically a challenge base. We have to kill all the brutes before we can proceed to hard looting though. And since we don't have any gold equipment equipped, so we just have to uh, be careful raiding this. I realize this is no small bastion. There's apparently another room over here. It could be one of the, the two rooms over here that might possess uh, a template or they don't. Maybe it depends on either way, but we gotta need to get rid of the brute steel. Man, two hit from those brute and I would have been dead. They are crazy. Oh my god. Oh, that was a jump scare from a brute. Oh, that was so terrifying. Man, definitely I got a totem. They are. Oh, they are scary. I swear, it seems like ever since I stopped doing the challenge of surviving, I just keep dying non-stop on every single episode, isn't it? Is this a curse now? Is this a freaking curse on me? Am I gonna be dying on every single episode? Is um, <laughs> uh, Let me just get my stuff back. To the loo! Okay, the good news is I think I'll pretty much got nearly everything. The bad news is, as I've said, I seem to have lost my boots somewhere. It's not finding it. Five minutes is not over yet, but if I can manage it, I should be able to find it somewhere. I think it just splattered and just spread my item everywhere, so. Hmm. I mean, if I happen to. If the boots happen to be this one, I don't think it's such a huge deal, because I can just uh, always make one. But it would be nice if I can actually find it. But since uh, unfortunately I couldn't find my diamond boots, so I got, I'm gonna have to keep going with this without having to have my diamond boots. That's mean that I have to be careful not to deal with the fall feather falling. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. Makes this a bit more challenging, ain't it? Now, quite unfortunately, but I don't think I have found any signs of templates. Uh, in any of these chests, so I think this bastion is a bunch of it here. So I'm definitely gonna need to go find more bastions around here. But I think first, I might need to run the view myself and get myself a new pair of boots because it's dangerous to fly around without a pair of boots. So, yeah, I'm gonna get myself a new pair. One, two, or three. I just realized something very important. Am I washed? Up. Ever since I denounced myself, I stopped doing this. Ever since that day when I killed myself like a psychopath, 
I just been uh, you know dying on the stop and yeah, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit of rush up, don't you guys think? Huh? I think I'm gonna be dying a lot more than I expected. Oh, that's yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, guys, I'm back in the Nether again. This time I got my boots over here with fire protection four and a broken tree. Unfortunately, that's not gonna be a feather falling for us. And we're gonna need careful not to fall from a high place or kill myself in front of a ceiling or wall. So, yeah, hopefully this one could very well help beat the template, but we will have to see about that. But once again, because we are in a new chunk, means there's gonna be brutes as well, so we're gonna need to take care of them before we take in a uh, looty looty chest. Yeah. I seem to got myself in a quite a pickle, you guys. Uh, I got two picking brutes over here, and I know if I hit them, the rest of the picking here is gonna be very angry at me. I just strategically, I think what I want to do is to get rid of the bow guys first because I think they would knock me down if I'm not careful. I think the coast is clear. I can probably loot the loot the chest over here. Ooh, pig step. I think I got the this already, so... I mean, having a stress is probably nice, but yeah. Got a uh, pig star, but I think that's probably a chest over there with the lanterns. We're gonna have to get over there. Careful not to fall into the lava. I found myself the snow armor trim, but it doesn't seem like I found anything else. Look at Loki, Loki! I found myself the smithing template. Well, that was pretty easy. The second bastion that I'm in, and I already got myself a, a, a smithing template. That's wonderful. Well, in that case, I can toot the load here and just run back home and just get my armor upgraded. Woohoo! Alright, I have come back home in the nether and I'm gonna grab myself the diamonds and yeah, basically what I'm gonna be doing is duplicate the smithing template for at least 10 times. Hopefully I got enough to really duplicate to 10. And yeah, I can basically upgrade all of my gears and upgrade to netherite. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this seems like a sign that I need to get more diamond because... Oof! I don't think I'm gonna be able to get 10 smithing templates with the amount of diamond I have. Yeah, I think 8 is the most that I can do to squeeze out this amount, so... Unfortunately, I can't do 10, but we're just gonna do 8 instead. And I'm gonna keep at least one smithing template over here so that we can always duplicate it. We don't want to lose this forever and we're gonna have to find another one if we ever lose the copy of this. But yeah, look at this. We got a whole collection of a template over here. I think there's only a few more templates in, uh, that I need to get and then we get the full completion of the template over here. And with that said, let's turn this all uh, into netherite ingot and then we're gonna upgrade all our armor and tools. The diamond helmet, chest plate, leggings, but, and of course we also need to do the hole as well, the netherite holes. And since we only have three templates left, I'm gonna do the base weapon that I have currently, which is the swordfish, the steel touch pickaxe, and my steel touch cat stalotta, aka the diamond axe. And there you go. That's all of the sniffing template spam, but we still got six netherite ingot over here that we can spam on the other uh, armors and tools that we yeah, whenever we can. And there you go. Why don't we equip all of our, our armor right now, including the chest plate, and look at us. Full netherite armor and the tools as well. We are looking pretty dazzling, I must say. And not gonna lie, 
there's actually one more thing that I want to do, but unfortunately, given the amount of diamond that I have in my pocket, I am technically broke. But what I was supposed to do is supposed to use this smithing template over here, the silence armor trims, to edit on my netherite armor to make it look even more fancy. But I think I will just do that during stream or during off stream just mine, casually mine some diamond and get uh, a bit of diamonds so that i can get this fancy up but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next episode subscribe if you haven't but yeah see you guys in the next episode bye bye